If you're a CM Punk fan, I'm sure we all are, at least the majority of us are. You should be mad at CM Punk as he was fired by AEW. You should be mad at Tony Khan. Uh, ultimately, it is his company, and he's responsible for everyone staying in line. You have to be mad at Jungle Boy. Maybe he should listen to a veteran about how the way things are done. And again, maybe you should be mad at CM Punk too for handling it the wrong way, doing it out in public. Maybe CM Punk is at fault for not adjusting to the new land, uh, the new land, the new ter the, the new land, uh, the, the new territory, the new land. Maybe the way things are were done back then, the old school way, is not the way it's done new school way, right? I kind of think of it like in football terms, right? A little bit different of a com uh, comparison here. But in football, for example, you have a close to 40-year-old Aaron Rodgers. Now, 40 years old for any other position besides quarterback, relatively speaking, is pretty old. 30 is considered old in football. So, you have a locker room, you're 38, 40, and your locker room now consists of 20, 21, 22-year-olds. How are you going to make that dynamic work? You know, these wrestlers nowadays are playing video games instead of back in the old day, they were going out for drinks. And, uh, you know, it's a whole new different time and a different place. But as wrestling fans, we're mad. We're, we're blaming the EVPs. Should the EVPs act like the way they have been on social media? Sudden jabs and being the elite and throwing out the Pepsi and, you know, saying that they're like Coke better... Sudden jabs. Sudden jabs. Should we be mad at, again, CM Punk even a little bit more? Seems wherever CM Punk goes, there's always something with him. Always something. Just, you know, just always some type of problem. Always some type of misunderstanding. Always something. What can you do? We suffer now as wrestling fans. We should be mad at everyone involved. Because this run after seeing Seven is after seeing CM Punk for many of years and not not yeah, I, you know for, for for not having CM Punk for many years. We only have him for two years. CM Punk is gone. Was CM Punk instigating by maybe going into that WWE locker room and uh, communicating with certain wrestlers? Or was he simply just visiting friends? Or was he already trying to work himself out of his AEW contract at that time in December? Is he simply just wanting to come home, finger quotes, and come to the... WWE, and this was just all a ploy to get out of AEW as he's seen. It was being an asylum that wasn't run by any person. Who knows? I know we're going to suffer as wrestling fans. Whether it was the straight edge, CM Punk, whether it was the voice of the voiceless CM Punk. He's better than you, CM Punk. 
Now we're not going to see that. Who knows? Hell, maybe he will just hibernate for another... That could be it. Maybe he's just says, has such a bad taste in his mouth. Says sayonara. I don't know. I'm rambling in this video. Do I think he could... work his way back into WWE? Look, we've seen Hitman. We've seen The Ultimate Warrior. We've seen Hulk Hogan back in the WWE. Hey... Weird things have happened. But all I know is that everyone is to blame at this. Everyone is to blame. You need a talent relationship individual there. Someone that is one of the boys and someone yet that strikes the fear of God into these people. Because right now, everything, you know... It, it, it's a it's a circus out in AEW, and it shouldn't be. We should be speaking about that you know that 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 crowd that you had in Wembley. You're not doing that. You're focused on this this what what's happened negativity.